Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you two battles um, from World of Tanks playing with the PZ.SFL.4C, both of which I get Top Gun. Um, so this is the first one, so we'll hit play. So it's on um, Lakeville. It's on Lakeville, um, and I'm going to go over here to the left, and then basically what's going to happen is they're going to, basically, the enemy team is going to win the base, is going to win the town. Um, we're going to kind of pretty much keep this on, on lock, so we're going to make sure they can't push through here, and we're going to eventually win the valley as well. But I kind of come up to this point, and we'll, we'll, we'll speed it up a bit. Um, we'll speed it up a bit. Just, I sit here for a while, um, and then I start shooting people when they appear. So here's this A20 appears, and there's the PZ4. So I'm just sitting here sniping. If you can see, I've got Binox and Camo Net in the bottom right-hand corner. So I'm I'm just going ahead, and I'm just I'm just sniping. Let's speed it up a little bit more again. I kind of sit here for a while, but they don't reappear. I've got no shots. I kind of try to move around to get better shots. Um, doesn't really work out because then that guy dies. So I decide to actually go down there and try to get some hits myself, which isn't the best tactic in this tank because it's got no armor and it's quite tall. Um, but I do alright. So, I'm watching this, um, and I'm watching after that A20 and just all of these tanks. I, my gun is quite high in the tank, as you can see, so I can be, I can kind of hit them higher than they can hit me, which is good, because I can kind of peekaboo over the hill. I sit behind there and get shot once by him, but I do get a shot on him in return, um, so that's alright. See, one shot from an A20 and I'm down, you know, a third of my health, so you really gotta not get shot in this thing. Trying to get the replay speed to normal. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this because it's just this tank is really, really good, and they're probably gonna nerf it. This Covenanter just sits there stupidly, and I almost one shot him, but I don't. But then the reload happens quite quickly, and he's still sitting there. So I go for a second shot, and I pick up the kill. This Churchill is pretty confident with his armor. And he he tries to. So that's my first kill, by the way. So not in this tank, but in this game. Um, he tries to push over, and I can kind of shoot through the terrain a little bit, because World of Tanks hasn't rendered it properly, um, and get a hit on him when he doesn't realize, which is good. You, you can kind of shoot through the terrain here, which is a little overpowered. That Stug finally decides to kill that A20. Um, or that, yeah, the A20. After sitting there for like five minutes, he finally decides to do it. I sit here for a little bit longer because I want to get I want to I want to try to hit that Churchill, but my gun depression isn't quite good enough, and he's he's kind of after getting hit once he's kind of scared to come up, so I just sit here for a little bit longer. We'll just wait and see. I'm pretty sure. See if you look in the map right now. Let's pause this. If you look up in the in the map right now, we only have a PZ an AMX and this B1, and these guys are about to own the town. If you see on the the team score we've almost lost. It's it's seven to nine. It's looking pretty bad, and I decide to turn around and head back to the base. So I leave this Churchill and this headset to handle the Churchill and the M8A1, and I head back over to the base. The great thing about this tank is that it re it, it, it relocates really quickly and really easily. You can see I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour on that ground, which is really sticky, and you know how slow you go on that ground. Anyway, so I pop around this corner. I thought I was going to go up there, but then I just decide to try to get here and get them kills. I see that M5, but I can't hit him from here, so I keep going forward a little bit. Then I see the KV-1, and eventually I decide to just sit here and stop once I get a shot. So I aim, I aim, I aim, I get my first shot off on him. There we go. There it is. There's the first shot. Um, and then I just keep shooting here. I kind of, I think I might shoot the M5, but then I decide to shoot the KV-1 again. I track him, I don't pick up the kill. He can't actually see me from here. Oh, he can, because he just destroyed that building. Um, which hasn't rendered properly in the replay. But that building's not there anymore, so I just reload, and I pick up my second kill for the game. So you can see, we're about to lose. It's 8 to 11, and I'm only on two kills right now. Um, I then see that M5 over there, and it looks like our B1, sorry. Our B1 is AFK, um, because this M5 Stuart is just shooting him slowly to death. So I just sit here for a moment because I'm, I'm thinking that people are going to roll up over that hill. So I just sit here and eventually I decide to save the B1 and pick up a kill on this M5. I pop out over here and this M5 has no idea I'm here. He's not even looking. Um, and so I take him out. Boom. Third kill. Then I notice this 30D, 3001D has appeared. So I take a shot on him. And miss, but he, he he's, he's content on shooting at the B1. So I pick up the kill. Boom. Four kills. 
Now we're winning again. We were at 8-11, now we're at 12-11, and we're winning. I see this Covenanter appear. I aim, I take my time, I take my time, boom, pick up another kill. Now we're at 13-11, to 11, and we've pretty much won this game now because I've got this base under control. Um, and they're now pushing through the valley over here to take the base. So I just sit here and decide to wait for that DW2 to appear because I know he's coming because I know he's gonna he knows I'm here and I know he's gonna try and get the kill. Um, so I, I push forward a little bit just just to see if I can spot him, and he appears just over here. There he is. I'm I have greater view distance than him, and again he's trying to shoot at the B1. So he just sits there. He tries to move away just a little bit towards the end, but I fire again and I pick up my sixth kill, and now we're winning 14 to 11. So a minute ago we were at 8 to 11, and then I picked up 5 kills, and now we're at 14 to 11. The M4 is AFK at their base, and we've pretty much won this. And then, if I speed it up a bit, I drive along here, and you can see the M4 takes hits, and then he dies. So yeah, that's the first game. And this is game 2, as you can see we're on the map, um, Oaks? something oaks you all know what map this is it's this one you know with the town and i'm in my panzer swiftle again we do end up losing this game but i get seven kills so i think it's i think it's worth it i end up heading up here and um yeah, i'll just show you let's um speed up the speed look at that time go down and there's me driving over here and then i set myself up just here and use my gun that goes sideways to just look over there and artillery just absolutely owned that M8A1 which is fun so I just sit here and wait to see when some people might arrive so let's speed this up a bit no one arrives, no one arrives, no one arrives, there's a panzer swiffle over there no one arrives, no one arrives, no one arrives, this Chinookai over on the right hand side is getting owned by someone and there's that Marta 38T speed this up further, he's gonna drive on all the way over here and kill this Chinookai. That's what's gonna happen. Boom 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 boom. Dead. He wins on eight health left. That Panzer Swiffle just died over there. And I can see this tiny little gap in between this thing and that thing. And I move forward to make that gap just a little bit bigger so that when that Panzer Swiffle arrives, I can kill him. So I just sit here, wait, Sorry, not the pants, full the mother 38T. I know he's gonna come, so I just sit here. I know he's gonna be there. He's gonna arrive, because he's gonna pop out, because he wants to come through there, because he's not gonna come. Yeah, there he is. Boom. Got him. Right through that little gap, I hit him. That's how accurate this gun is. That's my first kill, alright? First of seven. Speed it up a bit, speed it up a bit. I wait here longer, because I'm waiting for that guy to move around a bit, but he doesn't. Still waiting. That, that guy just got ammo racked, even though he was only on 8 HP, which you always think is funny. So I move up to take out this AMX 40. Okay? I see him coming, I see him coming. He starts. I, I just set up here so that when he drives out, I'll be able to hit him. And then I see him start to move, but I move away, and then I see him there. I take my shot, but I bounce off his front, because it is very sloped. And I back up. He takes his shot, though, so I decide to go forward, and he's tracked. So then I aim, I aim, I aim, boom, take him out. Second kill. 231 damage, or, yeah, 231, which is pretty good. I see this AT2 over here, and I take a bunch of shots and just bounce off his side, because that thing has so much on it. There's one bounce, reloading, reloading, reloading. I track him there, which is kind of like a bounce. I bounce again, three no damage shots. Bounce, ah, oh, that time I just miss. But he's damaged, and that time I fire and kill him. So there's my third kill, and I fired on him and he wasn't even there. Now I noticed the base start to get capped now, and so I decided to drive back and see if I can't pick up some enemy kills. Right now we're losing 7-9, to nine, and I kinda, at this point, I kinda think, ah, uh, you know, they're idiots, because we're gonna get them there. So I try to shoot at this PZ-4, but it, 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 just, it hits high. So I move forward to try to take out this Panzer 38T. I shoot at this building to try to see if I can kill it, but I realize it's a two shot, so I decide to go forward to get a shot, and then he dies. So I don't pick up any kills there, and they lose two tanks. I then decide to head back over here to take out the guys at their base. I see the D DW2 over there, and I take a shot at him, and I track him. I don't do any damage, but I track him. Reloading, reloading, I take a second shot. I don't even know if I've hit him or not. He was on 420 damage uh, health a minute ago. I don't know if I hit him. But I fire a second shot, and I get him. So I hit him both of those times, even though he wasn't spotted. 
So that's that's you always got to remember that if you know someone's tracked, they will still be in the exact same place. So just don't move your gun, and you'll be able to hit them. I wait for that BDR to go because I don't know what he's doing, and I just sit here a while because I think hmm, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, then I come back over here a little bit because I decide to you know push forward. Might get their artillery. I see this Churchill three, and he goes on a bit of a rampage. He kills his PZ four. Boom, dead. And I try to get a shot on him, but I'm struggling with my gun depression there, and I can't get a hit on him. So I just back up. He then kills this M2 medium. Oh no, the artillery got the M2 medium. And I don't know what to do, because I know there's tanks over there. But then this Churchill decides for me, and he just pops up like this. So I shoot him once, boom. And then he's on low health, and I shoot him. Let's go slow motion. Boom. And he blows up. And then there's the AMX over there, so I turn over at the AMX. And I take a shot at him as soon as I'm loaded and aimed. Boom! He blows up. I also see the Matilda over there. So I decided to take a shot at him. He's over there, almost reloaded, almost reloaded. This is at half speed, so this thing reloads very fast. That's him. That's him blowing up. There's my seventh kill right there. I just picked up three kills just there with three shots. I'm pretty sure I get Reaper at the end of this. And then I only just now notice, after kind of celebrating for getting those three kills there, that the base is getting capped and this BDR hasn't quite made it back to the base in time. I push up a little bit and I really regret not putting my Binox on my tank here. Because if I had Binox, I would have spotted these guys here and gotten one shot. I take one pot shot at the end to see if I can hit, but the T1 was over there. Anyway, basically, that was seven kills, okay? Did you see at the end there how I picked up three kills or three shots? And I basically just one-shot most of these guys because they were already a little bit damaged. I got seven kills, but I only did 1,027 damage. Um, yeah, basically this tank is just very accurate, very fast-firing, great penetration, and quite good damage for Tier 5. And if you notice, I still have 350 HP. I got seven kills and didn't take any damage. That is the power of the Panzer Swiffle. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe for more, check out my other guides, and I'll catch you all next time.